charging by induction. Induction is the process by which a body acquires a charge of opposite sign without losing any of its own charges when another charged body is brought very close to it. Let us try to make a metal sphere positively charged by bringing a negatively charged glass rod near it. The metal sphere which is supported on an insulating stand is initially neutral. Bring a negatively charged rod near it without touching the sphere. The free electrons in the metal sphere are repelled by the excess of electrons on the rod and they shift away from the rod. The charges cannot escape from the sphere because the supporting stand and the surrounding air are insulators. Thus we see that there is excess of negative charge on the side away from the rod and deficit of electrons on the side nearer to the rod. These charges are called induced charges. Let us see what happens to the charge if the metal sphere is connected to the ground by a conducting wire. The negative charges, that is, the electrons flow to the ground whereas the positive charges at the near end remain due to the influence of the charge rod. Now disconnect the sphere from the ground. The positive charge continues to remain on the sphere. Let us see what happens when the rod is removed. The charge is spread uniformly over the sphere. Thus we get a positively charged metal sphere. Let us try to make the metal sphere negative by bringing a positively charged rod near it. Identify the charges on the sides A and B. The free electrons in the metal sphere move towards the side which is closer to the charged rod and farther side becomes positively charged. What happens when the sphere is ground? If we ground the metal sphere, electrons flow from the earth into the metal sphere and neutralize the positive charges.
what happens when the earthing is removed. On disconnecting the conductor from the sphere, only the negative charges remain on the sphere. What happens when the glass rod is removed? On the removal of the glass rod, negative charges spread uniformly on the metal sphere.